Okay. This time we're going to be talking about these two clasps. This is the lipstick clasp. This is the magnetic veil. Both of them have this same X connection that allows you to attach your necklace using cord or wire or uh, virtually anything that you can run through these X's. I'm going to be working with Kumihimo this morning. I'm going to be attaching this clasp the same way I did the other one using wire. One of the things that you need to do is use a piece of craft wire or, or silver wire and create a, a curve like this. So it looks sort of like a shepherd's hook. The curve you make you, is you create a loop in such a way that you can take and put it in and bring it up diagonally across from the X. Holding that in position and take a pair of pliers and bring this end of the wire up and through. It can take more than one try. to do this. This wire is how you're going to attach this to the clasp. When you do finish your kumihimo, you put your glue on the end to solidify it leaving it to dry. You put it purely from where the beads start to the end. You probably have a knot at the end. After it dries completely, trim the end of your piece. And as you can see, I can attach the end of the kumihimo easily to the wire. And the way we're going to bring to take the two ends of the wire and bring them together. And then I'm going to start twisting. And as I twist, it's going to pull the kumihimo into the bottom. Sometimes you have to nudge it a little bit there. So, so far, so good. As you can see, as I'm twisting tighter and tighter, the kumihimo is going in to the end of the clasp. When you finish this, you can use your pliers tuck in part, and then cut. And your piece is attached. If you ever need to remove your kumihimo from the clasp, you would purely take the cutter into the wire and release it without damaging it. 